Getting bored of the quarantine? Frustrated you can't get bog roll of the supermarkets? Relentlessly washing your hands and coronavirus news taking a dump on your phone? Forget about the PPE now. In fact, forget about all of it. It's time to relax. Grab a drink, FaceTime your friends and family, sit round for Capcord's Virtual Pub Quiz! Hello everyone, and welcome to Capcore's virtual pub quiz, the pub quiz that you, yes, you, can do from the comfort of your own home. I am your quiz master Capcord, and welcome to our humble quiz stream. To you OG quizzers, welcome back. This week is week number nine. We have done nine weeks of quiz. Producer Sarah, can you believe it? Insane. Insane. Nine weeks of quiz. I've been with you every week providing you a bit of a bit of juicy banter and a bit of general knowledge alongside so that you can fill the void that the quarantine has provided in your life. To those of you that are new to our humble stream, or welcome. We're gonna hope you have a great time this week. And I will explain the rules of the quiz shortly before we need to do a few shout outs, uh, a few notifications, uh, as we always do at the start of the quiz. So, 
First bit of news, I'm going to kick off straight away with this one. Um, an OG quizzer, Holly Morgan, has written a Caps Quiz song this week. Absolutely loving it. And I'm going to play it for you guys right now. So, without further ado, here is Caps Quiz by Holly Morgan. Let's get it going. When you're stuck at home in quarantine, only one guy who you want on your screen He's got charming jokes to entertain you An old-fashioned on ham producer Sarah to It's Jack Oh, bugger. Apologies. Try again. When Try again. you're stuck at home in quarantine <laughs> only one guy who you want on your screen He's got charming jokes to entertain you An old-fashioned on ham producer Sarah to It's Jack And he's back With Cap's Quiz There's lots of points to be had There'll be no doubt If you've got Good banter, then you'll get a shout out. Can you caption this? Who's been Bashemi eyed will you reach the Hall of Fame and take top prize? It's Jack! And he's back with Cap's quiz. So is out. Dump out, charge up your glasses It's only matter of time before Jack is plastered He'll be on the stream every Saturday at 8 So round up the team and don't be late It's Jack And he's back With Cap's Quiz Oh, I loved it. Absolutely. Thank you so much to Holly Morgan for writing that. I really enjoyed that song. Thank you so much for sending it in. We are creating some mad content here on Caps Quiz. We've got some talented OG quizzes out there. Uh, just Sarah. I don't think I've got anything else to talk about. I like this week. We have to rifle through. Just go straight through to how we play the game, really. So, what you are going to need first is... A bit of background music. Ah, there it is, piping gently into your eardrums. And from here on, I will now go through the format of the quiz. So for tonight's quiz, you are gonna need three things. Number one, you are going to need a laptop or smart device in order to stream the quiz stream of me reading out the questions to tonight's quiz. And congratulations to you, because if you're hearing me speak these words, you've already completed step one, so good on you. Step two is you're gonna need another smart device, such as uh, I would recommend an iPhone or an iPad or another laptop if you have it, in order to answer the quiz questions. At the start of the quiz, we will post a link in the YouTube live chat, to so the live chat that's associated with this stream. If you follow any YouTube link, uh, to the stream, you can see the live chat on any device. You click on that link, it will take you to a Survey Planet survey. On that Survey Planet survey, you are going to fill out the answers to the questions as they are read out. It will ask you to put your team name and it will ask you for your answers to questions 1 to 30. Throughout the quiz, you are going to update that survey with your answers. And then at the end of the quiz, you are going to submit that survey to producer Sarah and I so that we have an electronic version of your answers and that brings us to point three which is you are going to need a piece of paper and a pen you are not only are you going to record your answers on the online survey but you're also going to write your own answers down so that you have your own copy of the quiz answers this is because you guys will mark your own quiz sheets at the end of the quiz you will tot up your answers and then you will tell producer sarah and i your team name and the score you got out of 30 and then we can check your survey to make sure that you got the same answers as you've marked and then if you get the highest marks then you get introduced to Cap's 
Hall of Fame. Every week, the number one quiz team gets put into the Hall of Fame, where all the previous winners have been. All the way in uh, week one, we had Quentin Quarantino, all the way up to uh, Emily, Mike, and Guest, formerly known as It Smells Like Rubber, I think it was. Been told not to mention the third person of the team by Mike. Uh, but since we're in week nine, that ninth square there could be filled by you. As always, quiz answers are the only way that you can get quiz points on Capcord's Virtual Pub Quiz. We also offer extra quiz points for caption rounds. So this week, I'm going to show you a picture and you are going to submit your captions to that picture and the best caption will get a point, an extra point for your quiz team. So this week, this is the image I would like you to caption. So send me on the social medias that are running around on the bottom of the screen here, your best caption to this photo, the winning caption will get a point for their team. We also have a photo recreation round. So last week, I showed you this photo and I asked you in your teams or on your own to send a recreation that you have made of this photo to me and the best one gets a point for the quiz team and last week's winner was this submission, uh, Bruce from the Pondaterini team, uh, great, absolutely great effort from Bruce as always, dropping the Photoshop skills there uh, and he stormed it, took a point home for his team. But this week I would like you to recreate this photo so please remember send in your uh, photo recreations of this photo uh, on the quiz street on the uh, social media streams below for your chance at an extra quiz point so extra quiz point for a caption extra quiz point for photo recreation but this week we are trialing a brand new way that you can get an extra quiz point making a total of three possible extra quiz points this week we will be playing in the breaks between uh, each set of rounds, higher or lower? Can you believe it? So I have purchased some giant playing cards. This week, every team will get an opportunity to play higher or lower. Producer Sarah will post a, a different link to a survey where you can input, if you'd like to play higher or lower, you put in your team name uh, and uh, at the end of round one, that survey will be closed, and producer Sarah will randomly pick a team from each of those uh, from e from that list of from the list of people that have asked to play, and then in the breaks between rounds, you'll get to play higher or lower. So for those of you who have never played higher or lower before, I'm going to flip over this card. For instance, it could be the eight of spades. I'm asking you whether you think the next card along will be higher or lower. And if you guess it all right to the end of the row, then you get an extra quiz point for your team. We have three breaks, one between each second round in this quiz. So three different teams will get an opportunity to win a quiz point for their team. So to recap, if you would like to take part in the higher or lower section, you need to, Bruce Sarah, are you putting the link on now? Oh, you can't post that. I will post, sorry, I will post uh, a link to an online survey as well as the one for the quiz in which you can uh, submit your team's name to play higher or lower. You are going uh, to contact me via social media, so you're going to instant message me on one of these social media streams here. What I will do is when producer Sarah has uh, picked a team to play, I will ask a member of that team to reach out to me on social media and then you're just going to have to message me saying higher or lower as I go along and let's see how it goes. Producer Sarah, is that clear? You reckon so? They'll get the gist of it. So higher or lower, caption and recreation. You can find the caption and recreation photos on social media, so you need to see uh, how to re uh, what images you want to caption and recreate. But without further ado, I think we're ready to start the quiz. So on the YouTube live chat, I am going to post a link to the quiz survey. Get that cooking now. So make sure you open the uh, YouTube link on your uh, smart device 
and check the live chat so you can click the link for the survey. Let's get this cooking. So the link I've just posted is for the quiz survey. And after that, the link for if you would like to play higher or lower. Please remember that the survey for the higher or lower team submission will close after round one. On that survey, you just need to tell us your team name. Okay, dope. let's get those going. Okay, so the link for the quiz survey and the link for the higher or lower team submission are now on the survey, uh, sorry, are now on the YouTube live stream chat. And without, I'll give you a few minutes to get ready and then we'll start the quiz. Hope everyone is doing fine tonight. Please make sure that you've got a drink ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, we've got no punk IPA in and I couldn't be bothered to go to the shop. So I'm drinking vodka cranberry juice but I will shortly be moving on to the whiskey as you guys all like me to drink but let's have a look what's going on in the chat today shout out to Claire, Claire Dool, welcome back Zach, Field welcome, Jordan welcome, Emily Legg welcome, returning champion uh, Welcome to Mega Singleton to the stream, Devon Legg, Holly Morgan, the musician herself. Mike Coleman, the Nouveau. Oh, you guys are all back. Beautiful. Doug Star One. Hey, what's up? We're Bristol Massive, Doug and Jackie. Doug and Jackie, welcome to the quiz. Please remember that you can get in contact with me via social media that's running along the bottom of the screen right now. Uh, in between, in between every other round, there's a break in which we'll play higher or lower, and I will shout out uh, anything that you guys send. So please send me your love, send me your hopes and dreams, and I will read them out. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to go. Remember, if you want to submit your name for the higher or lower uh, for the higher or lower game, sorry, submit your name for the higher or lower game. It will close at the end of round one, so do that right away. But without further ado, shall we start, guys? Round one, as always, is general knowledge. So, round one, question one. In Winnie the Pooh, what are the elephant-like creatures called? So question one, in Winnie the Pooh, what are the elephant-like creatures called? You guys tell me. Look at all the moving elements we have to the set this week. We've got a couple of succulents and cacti here, and we've got Hyrule in the background. These cards are a nightmare to shuffle. Question two. Lizard Point, the most southern point of mainland Britain, is in what county? So, Lizard Point, the most southern point in mainland Britain, is in what county? You guys tell me. A happy birthday tomorrow to Jimmy, one of our OG quizzes. Happy birthday for tomorrow, my man. Happy birthday! If you'd have told us sooner, we could have got a little graphic up for you. But many happy returns to you, Jimmy. Hopefully, you have a smashing day. Shout out to Suey Moore and the Moore family. Welcome back. OG Leg family signing in. Welcome back. Good to have you with me, guys. Just say what they know. I've heard of 
Question three is a riddle. So I want you to tell me the answer to this riddle. What disappears as soon as you say its name? So question three is a riddle. What disappears as soon as you say its name? Profound, very profound. How are we all doing this week? Oh, I'm knackered, absolutely knackered today. Too much exercise. Hope you guys are having a lovely beverage. I'm definitely going on to the whiskey shortly. Question four of round one. Which Italian aperitif would you find in a Negroni? So question four, which Italian aperitif would you find in a Negroni? Well, mine in a Negroni, actually. We should maybe invest in some decent cocktails next week, please, Sarah. Couldn't be bothered to go to the shop today, so I've been prepping for you guys because we had so many technical difficulties last week. We got everything ready really soon so that everything went swimmingly. How many names have we got in the pot for higher or lower? 12, P 12 teams still want to play higher or lower? Remember guys, you've got till the end of round one to tell me uh, if you'd like to play higher or lower. In between the breaks, in, in each of the breaks, one team will get one opportunity. If they get to the end, guess the higher or lower all the way through to the end and they get an extra quiz point. If you don't, you win nothing and the next team takes over for the next round. And question five of round one. The Russian language uses what type of alphabet slash writing system? So, question five, the Russian language uses what kind of alphabet slash writing system? Once I've recapped the questions to round one, guys, the poll to play higher or lower will close, so this is your last chance. Remember, if you want to uh, get in contact with me today, you want to shout out, either do it in the YouTube live chat or send me a message on either of the social media profiles scrolling past your eyes on the stream. Uh, I will get to some shout outs after we've played higher or lower. Uh, I'll read out your captions and look at your photo recreations. Okay, let's recap round one, guys. So, question one. In Winnie the Pooh, what are the elephant-like creatures called? Question two, Lizard Point, the most southern point in mainland Britain, is in what county? Question three is a riddle. What disappears as soon as you say its name? Question four, which Italian aperitif would you find in a Negroni? And question five, the Russian language uses what type of alphabet slash writing system? And that's the end of round one. You now have 30 seconds to submit your name, so higher or lower, and then that's it. You can't play higher or lower for the rest of the quiz. Ah, oh, I'm pour myself a drink soon. I love these large novelty cards. Can I actually try to do a magic trick with these? I couldn't even shuffle them. All right, guys, that is it closed. 18 teams will be, play, will be in contention to play. So, producer Sarah, while we do round two, you need to pick a team at random to play the first installment of Higher or Lower. So, guys, let's get going with round two. Now, round two is a bit of a goofy round. This is called the Missing Out 
round. So I have taken some popular sayings from the English language and I have taken out the vowels from that saying. All you guys have got to do is tell me what saying have I taken the vowels out of. So an example might be An example might be this one or this one. So these two are popular sayings that I've taken the vowels out of and the eagle eyed among you may guess that the two that I've taken out of are a picture paints a thousand words and this is cost an arm and a leg with the vowels taken out. So for question six, what saying have I taken the vowels out of here? Look on your screens and I'm going to read it out loud. I think this is a round that's popular in uh, Only Connect, which is a show starring, um, I've forgotten her name, she's married to David Mitchell. But it's a very good quiz show they do this kind of thing. So that was question six. So question seven, what popular phrase have I taken the vowels out of here? You guys tell me, a little bit of visual aids on this for the visual aid for each question. Can I have myself a drink? Question eight. What saying have I taken the vowels out of here? Don't worry guys, I will leave a recap of all of the questions to this round at the end of the round so you can use the break to deliberate over them. I wonder what whiskey to go for this week. Victoria Corrin Mitchell, thank you Bruce. She does present Only Connect. Shout out to the Pom de Turinis tuning in tonight. Question nine guys, what popular saying have I taken the vows out of here? Do you reckon these are too easy, producer Sarah? I'm trying to see the answers, so I don't know. You can see the answers, yeah. <laughs> Well, that would make it easy for you. Got some multimedia clips to show you guys today. And question 10, what popular saying have I removed the vowels from here? I think these could be easy. What do you guys think? Tell me. Tell me. I think I might go for the monkey shoulder. Uh, you'll see that the monkey shoulder has been depleted a little bit. That's because I got whiskey drunk last Bank Holiday Friday and ended up buying a drone on Amazon that I was going to fly on the stream, but it's too loud on the microphone. I don't know where it's over there, isn't it? I packed it away. Yeah, £30 drone off Amazon. And it's... <laughs> It's a bit crap, yeah. <laughs> I like it though, I call it Sebastian. Uh, okay, so let's recap round two. So these are all of the phrases from round two uh, that I have taken the vowels out of and you guys need to tell me what this saying is. And at the end of the round two, we get a break. So I'm gonna make a drink, then we're gonna play higher or lower then I'm going to do some shout outs and then we're going to start round three, which should take about 15 minutes. So the team that is playing higher or lower, chosen at random, is 
The Curry Smugglers. So, a member of the Curry Smugglers team needs to get in contact with me on one of these social media lines so that we can play higher or lower. Um, so you can message me your, your answers. So just send me a message on one of these, uh, preferably on Twitter or Instagram, saying uh, the Curry Smugglers, and then we'll get going. In the meantime, we're going to get a drink going. So, I was on TikTok the other day and saw a video from a guy called Richard Peterson who uh, tells me that I've been tasting my whiskey wrong. So, let's do it his way. Let me show you guys what I saw. So this is how uh, you're meant to taste whiskey. Put it around, bring Well, here we go. Round two will be put up in a sec. Roll it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back to it, how are you? And then go back to it, quite well, thank you very much. Now remember, get into it. Don't go like this, none of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're actually examining every part of that whiskey. How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water, but don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug with your finger in the water. Why? Because you want to test it. Why do you want to test it? Because many barmen, unfortunately, stick their jug under a hot tap by mistake, and therefore, this is what ruins whiskey. Six times I've now ruined my whiskey. Six times. Twice in America, once in France, once in Stockholm, and twice in England. Roll it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back to it. Oh, How man, that pesky video. Then go back to it. Sorry about that, guys. Brief interlude. But I need to try my whiskey this way. So let me just remind myself what's going on. How did it go? Roll it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back. Hello. Back to it. How are you? And then How go back you? to it. Quite well. Quite well. Thank you very much. Now remember, much. get into it. Don't go like this. None of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're actually examining yeah. every part of that whiskey. How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water. But don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug. Oh, 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 oh. Monkey shot was nice. Anyway, what, what a strange interlude that was. Right, have the curry. Have the uh, curry smugglers got in contact with me. No, I not seen anything. Not seen anything from the curry smugglers. Curry smugglers get in contact. Let's play higher or lower. In the meantime, shout out to Megan Singleton who shouted me on Instagram. Thank you very much. 
caption from Richie P. He said, let's go with the caption is. Caption is, Mummy, you told me I told you I... <laughs> Mummy, you, you know I told you I wet myself. It's just a whole lot worse. <laughs> Very good. And then a photo submission from that team as well. So that's what you're trying to recreate. This is what they came up with. Uh, is it my phone on? Who's sir? No. Well, let's play higher or lower in the meantime. Right, so we've got the uh, curry smugglers. Oh, it's Esther Moore and families. Let's get going, Esther. So stay hot on the chat. You're going to tell me if you want to go higher or lower for an extra quiz point. So let's get going. Your first card is... The Queen of Clubs, higher or lower? Let me know. Bit of a delay, let me store in the meantime. Hello. How are you? Very well. Thank you very much. Higher or lower, guys? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Bit of higher or lower? Look at the quality of those cards. Lower! What we got? Ah! Aces are low! So, congratulations! Higher or lower? I think I've got an idea of what you're going to go with. But, I'm going to need confirmation from you guys. Higher or lower on the ace? Aces is low! Let me know. Where do you want to go? Oh, this could be a winning... Higher or lower? Guys, what would you do if you were given aces low for higher or lower? Oh, it's coming in. It's typing. You can just put H or L if you want, Esther. Make it quick. Higher or lower? Aces low. Aces low. Lower. You want to go lower? Aces low. Aces low. That means aces one. And you want to go lower than one, in higher or lower? Oh, I mean higher, okay. <laughs> that did come through before this would have been broadcast, so we'll give you that, higher. It's the Queen of Diamonds, good shout. Higher or lower? What would you like, higher or lower? Yeah, I've seen it, okay, come on. What would you like, Esther, higher or lower? Lower on the ace, eh? You can't write it. You can't write it. What would you like, Esther? Higher or lower? You tell me. I'm like a young Bruce Forsyth. Lower. What do we get? Oh, ten of clubs. That is tight. That is lower. Right, so finally, Esther. You got the ten of clubs, higher or lower for your final card? Let me know. You're doing well. You're doing well. This could clinch the extra quiz point. What would you like? Lower or higher? You tell me. You tell me. Just a serious. You said time. Huh? Beautiful. Lower it is. Oh, it's a five. Congratulations to the Curry Smugglers. Absolutely smashed the first. Higher or lower? So, the Curry Smugglers, make sure that you add an extra quiz point to your team when you submit your answers at the end. But in the meantime, there will be another opportunity for another quiz team to take an extra point in higher or lower in the next break. We've got some shout outs to do. Charged up and ready to go. Right, let me plug back in and let's do some shout outs. Got a few captions and photo recreations to do. Are we up?
just sorting out a few things that went wrong with the last technical difficulties guys give me a sec and we'll be back on track Okay, where were we? We were with Charlie, who had sent in this photo recreation from the Dirty Dozen team. You were trying to recreate this. This is what they re recreated. Oh dear. Do a little tweak. This is what they recreated. Absolutely loving it, guys. Oh yeah, he had the dummy ready to go there, that's great. Well, till I see another another submission, that is definitely the top for the photo recreation. Well done, guys. There's no booty on that one. You see, the guy uh, the guy in the photo recreation is thick. Look at that, look at that little booty he's got going on there. That boy's thick. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you to the Dead Dozen. Shout out to Hall again. Oh, you got Chinese. Mark's take, fake away. Marg's and Cap's quiz. Enjoy those margaritas, the Morgan family. Natasha from the Cabal of Beers has submitted a caption. The caption is, uh, yes, mummy, I am so excited to see Jimmy Savile. Oh, crikey. <laughs> oh, I walked into that one, didn't I? This is what you get for not proofreading them, ladies and gentlemen. Very naughty. Very naughty. None of that. It's like the first quiz stream we ever did all over again. Oh, nice one. So, Devon Leg is sending a photo recreation. So, we're trying to recreate. This is what they sent. Very good. They got the thick end of it there. Uh, that's my favourite so far. Well done, guys. Zach Field embracing the recreation. Well done. You guys are currently in, in top spot for the next one. Just Sarah, have you got a name for the next higher or lower? Yeah. Okay. I could pre warn them, yeah. Okay. So, when we, in our next break, after round four, if Quarantina Turner could get in contact on social media in order to play higher or lower. Well done to the Curry Smugglers who had won an extra point on the um, on the higher or lower from this round. How long have we got left, please, Sarah? Two minutes. Two minutes left. Any more shout outs to do? Caption from Devon Leg. When you blink twice in your school photo and you've only got one shot left. Very good. Certainly better than the last one, which is very naughty. And we got a uh, message from Incapel on Instagram saying this is our Star Wars Day uh, litter of snake eggs. Not for everyone that, she's a serious proper scrunched her face up looking at that. Not a big fan. <laughs> Caption from Charlie Stevenson. Before I became a vegan, farts didn't worry me. I don't make that face my fault. Do you grin? I grin. Because they're disgusting. Death Gosten! That's gotta be the end of two minutes two minutes for you, Sarah. 30 seconds? 30 seconds left. Let's end it there. You guys are particularly quiet on social media this week. Get in contact, let me know. I know for sure we've definitely got 20 teams. 
but welcome, hope you're enjoying yourself. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you for asking. All right guys, let's get going with round three. Now round three is entertainment. So, round three, question 11. What is the name of Super Mario's pet dinosaur? So what is the name of Super Mario's pet dinosaur? You guys tell me, question 11. Question 12, guys, of round three. It, which popular TV show was originally called Insomnia Cafe? So question 12, which popular TV show was originally called Insomnia Cafe? I'll save that caption for uh, for the round. Uh, question thirteen of round three: In what game do you pay your debt to Tom Nook? So, question thirteen: In what game do you pay your debt to Tom Nook? Why you would want to? play a game in which you have to pay debts, I don't know. But I don't know. This week I've been toying with the idea of buying a gaming desktop. Any of you OG quizzes there have any idea on purchasing a gaming PC? Let me know. Tempted to become a Twitch streamer slash YouTube game player. I feel like I'd be good at that kind of thing. I'm not very good at, I'm, I like playing video games, I'm just not very good at playing them that well. Couldn't be like a eSports COD legend or anything like that. All right guys, question 14. And of course, would it be Capcord's Virtual Pub Quiz if you didn't have a Buscemi eyed question? So every week we have a question where I take a celebrity and I adorn them with the sexiest eyes in the business. Steve Buscemi. So last week we had, let me just get the graphics ready. So last week I Buscemi eyed Zoe de Chanel for a quiz point. But this week for question 14, who have I Buscemi eyed here? It was in the song, guys. You knew a Buscemi eyes was coming. Buscemi, Buscemi, Buscemi. Who have I Buscemi eyed here? You guys tell me. Oh, I'm drifting. Here we go. See, Buscemi actually has similar beautiful blues to mine. I have thought kids. Okay guys, and question 15. What M. Night Shyamalan film stars Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel? So, question 15. What M. Night Shyamalan uh, film stars Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel? Oh, you guys tell me. All right, guys, let's recap round three. So question 11 was, what is the name of Super Mario's pet dinosaur? Question 12, which popular TV show was originally called Insomnia Cafe? 
Question 13. In what game do you pay debt to Tom Nook? Question 14. Who had I Buscemi eyed here? I'll leave that up. And question 15. What M. Night Shyamalan film stars Mark Wahlberg and Zoe de Chanel? So look at what's going on in the chat. Whiskey tasting. It was the worshipful company of distillers in London. Said he'll happily take Jack when we're allowed to do fun things again. Oh yeah, I'll definitely go and visit, what was his name? Mr. Peterson, the guy who gave the whiskey drinking review. Oh yeah, surely I'll go and meet him. Take me to meet him, for sure. It's the best game, says Sophie, in answer to question 13. We've all been playing it since lockdown. Build one, don't buy it pre-made. Build your own, says Jordan Tinker on the gaming PC. All right, guys. Let's get cracking with round four. Round four, a throwback to our first ever quiz. We had a caps round. So all things cap, captain, cap, whatever to do with CAP, it's in this round. So for caps round this week, question. 16. Which captain is synonymous with rum? Which captain is synonymous with rum? Not a rum guy myself. This keeps annoying the producer, Sarah. Mm. Do you know what you want me to do about that? Oh, I had a bit of sass from you there. Eh? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Caps round. Every round is a caps round with me. What are your hopes and dreams, guy? Nick Jones. No, I've seen a produce Sarah. Nick Jones' caption, I won't know who your team is, Nick, unless you get in contact with me on social media. Stick to the battery, not the mains. Ah, oh, no, that, that's gone right over my head. Okay, no worries. Question 17, guys. In the British Army, what rank is above captain? So in the British Army, what rank is above captain? You guys tell me. And the cap's round. Sorry, Nick, I've not delivered that uh, caption with the pizzazz you would have wanted. I think I'm a bit too dense. Worshipful company of distillers. What was that guy's name? I said it, but I forgot it because, you know, the old... Uh, the old whiskey got me. Hello. How are you? Quite well. Yeah. Richard Patterson. Richard Patterson. Hello. How are you? Quite well. Thank you. Question 18, guys, of round four. Brian Braddock is the real name of which Marvel captain? So question 18, Brian Braddock is the real name of which Marvel captain? You know your comics. I wonder if I'll finish the whiskey before the end of, before quarantine ends. Just remember we've got a cheeky sound to play over, don't we? I do. Question 19 of the Caps round. Which famous fictional captain had his leg bitten off by a white whale? 
So question 19, which famous fictional captain had his leg bitten off by a white whale? You guys, tell me. Oh, quite well. Thank you for asking. Side for higher or lower? So many elements to the quiz now. So many elements. Okay guys, and question 20 of, the, of Cat's Round. What type of hat is known as a bunnet in Scotland? So question 20, what type of hat is known as a bunnet in Scotland? That is B-U-N-N-E-T. Gonna need an intern at this rate, Jack. I'm gonna need an intern. That's what I've got producer Sarah for. Don't get an intern at quarantine. Oh, quarantine intern. It's against the no. rules. No. I don't need a, I don't need an intern. Maybe I'd need more professional, if anyone's got a professional camera they want to donate to the quiz. Because I'm bored of this one, after the trouble it's caused me the past few weeks. Oh man. Going so well, it wasn't going so well. That, this camera has not been naughty today and then it went down during the, uh, the Patterson uh, video. Anyway. Alright guys, let's recap. Round four, which was the caps round. Question 16, which captain is synonymous with rum? Question 17, in the British Army, what rank is above captain? Question 18, Brian Braddock is the real name of which Marvel captain? Uh, question 19, which famous fictional captain had his leg gnawed off by a white whale? And question 20, what type of hat is known as a bunnet in Scotland? That's B-U-N-N-E-T. And at the end of round four, it's time for higher or lower. So I think I have a member of Quarantina, Tur uh, Quarantina Turner ready. That is David Wright, shout out to you. Right, David, he's ready to go. So, let's get going with higher or lower. Okay, David, your first card is the King of Hearts. Higher or lower, sir? Got a feeling what you're going to say? Remember, aces are low. Higher or lower, sir? You tell me. I've got a feeling what you're going to say. Play along at home if you'd like to. Lower. King of Hearts. Oh dear me, King of Clubs. You hate to see it happen. I'm so sorry, David. Well, that's just how it goes with <laughs> all the offers. Oh man, what are the odds? Well, we all know the odds technically. But hard luck, David, and quarantine Turner. <laughs> sorry, man, let's recharge those cards. Oh, it started and ended so quickly. <laughs> I'd have gone lower as well, mate. I'd have gone lower as well. Oh, Government Anti Climax. We all expected such great things from, from that go. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, my man. That's just the way it goes. That's how games of chance work. 
Oh, sad face from David. Oh, did I? Oh, sorry. Cheeky. Just making sure it's all good. We can't see those. Beautiful. Uh, caption from Claire Dool. Locked in for another three weeks. Not another one. Oh, you missed him too, Sarah. I heard it. Two kings. I could hear. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Caption from the Kabbalah Bears again. What I think I look like when I smile. Oh no, I have another one. What is it? From the Cooper Troopers, another caption, uh, when you're in public and it wasn't a fart. <laughs> I like that one, Cooper Troopers, that's my favourite so far. I should write these down, have you see, you got a piece of paper? I should definitely keep track of what I give points to, because I always lose it. The whiskey just takes it away, takes it away. Not a lot of shout outs this week, guys. Very quiet on the social media. So let's see what's going on in the old chat. I gotta get out. Ah, you see? This is why the producer series is here to keep me on track. Poof Troopers are currently in lead to caption, and photo wreck is. How's that feel? Oh, I feel lonely on social media this week, guys. Get involved. Producer Zero, do you want to pick the next person for the final go at higher or lower? Caption oh, round so from so the Curry so Smugglers. Alexa! Alexa, stop! Shut up! She was definitely about to play a song. There's Alexa about to play a song. <laughs> we can't! It's copyright infringement. I'll get my house repoed. Caption from the Curry Smugglers when you trust a danger far. Well, it's close to the Cooper Troopers. You jumped on the bandwagon there. Criticism on social media. Oh, really? Okay, so the next team to play um, higher or lower. Thank you. The next team to play higher or lower is the Morgan Massive. Shout out to Holly who wrote this song that we listened to at the start of the stream. The Morgan Massive, please make sure you are on social media ready to play higher or lower after round six. Well, I'm nothing if not a critic speaker. So sorry, the Kabbalah player said what I think I look like when I smile compared to what I actually look like. All right, guys. Oh, social media is very quiet this week. People just want to quiz. You've not set a time, Mr. Well, there's nothing coming through, so we should be all right to kick off soon. Could be a, a sooner than usual quiz. Thanks, guys. Mitch Leg. Caption. Are you sure you've got the facilities for that big man? Oh, lovely guys. Not a lot of photo recreations this week. Only two so far. Send me your hopes and dreams. I want to ask a question for you guys to answer. Uh, let me think about it. My feet. Caption from D-Leg. 
My brother goes back to school on June the 1st. Ah, oh, crikey. Back to school. I haven't even thought about that. Oh, they're all coming to me now. Shout out to Aidy Moore, The Rock, God from Esther. All right, guys, few more minutes. Let, let, let's give it 30 more seconds, then we'll get back into the quiz. Roll it around, bring it up and say hello. hello. And then you go back to it. How are you? How are and then you go back to it. Yeah, Quite well. Quite well. Thank you very much. Now remember, get into it. Don't go like this. None of this. You are? Oh, yeah. Shall I break up the monotony with a bit of music? Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. We have a route and we have a plan. Work from home if you can. Banger! It's a banger. All right, guys, with that, let's get going. With round five, round five is the decades round. So I will ask you a question about each of the five decades before, including and before the current one we are in, and you need to just give me the right answer. So general knowledge about the decades. So question 21 is a question about the 1980s, which Television station launched in 1981 was marked by video killed the radio star. So question 21 in the 1980s, which television station launched in 1981 was marked by video killed the radio star? Can you guys tell me? Hello. How are you? Quite well. Thanks for asking. So my nice song, next one. That'll do. Caption from the Dirty Dozen. I am self-isolating. Question 22 is a question about the 1990s. So which president held the White House for the majority of the 1990s? So question 22, which president held the White House for the majority of the 90s? You guys tell me. Good captions just for sitting, I'll save that for the break. Question 23, the 2000s. In 2004, which celebrity married Jason Alexander and Kevin Federline? So question 23 for the 2000s. In 2004, which celebrity married Jason Alexander and Kevin Federline. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. We have a route and we have a plan. Work from home if you can. Hope you guys have had a smashing week this week. I've been off 
doing absolutely nothing. Question 24, and we're in to the 2010s. How many medals, including all bronze, silver and gold, did Britain win in the 2012 Olympics? Was it A, 65, B, 67, or C, 69? Yeah, <laughs> boy. So, question 24. How many medals, including all bronze, silver and gold, did Britain win in the 2012 Olympics? Was it A, 65, B, 67, or C, 69? You guys tell me. Remember guys, extra points for caption and photo recreation. Send in those photo recreations. Only had two in this week. So we uh, heal with it, son. Happy to be back in our regular studio after last week's debacle. But we're back. And we're here for you guys. Remember, we are here until the end of quarantine. Next week will be our 10th show. 10th show, Jesus Sarah. It's like two months. It's like two months. Over two months. And we're here with you guys till the end. And question 25 in the 2020s. 2020 is the year of which animal of the Chinese zodiac? So 2020 is the year of which animal of the Chinese zodiac? More Boris dancing, says Claire. All in good time. All in good time. Run out of sponsors. We haven't had a, we haven't had a sponsor since our uh, package from William Grant and Son, who made the Glen Philly. Well, Bruce Sarah has brought a taster of Lily's cider this week. She's got like ten. No, what? How many bottles? Do you have ten bottles of different flavored ciders. What are you drinking at the minute, Bruce Sarah? Stargazer. Dry Stargazer. Somerset cider. Somerset cider. You had rhubarb earlier on. That was nice. No, no, no. If anyone would like to send in a product for me to review on the stream, like a YouTuber, that'd be great. Or, you know, if you want to send in a gaming PC for me to review, that'd be great. That'd be ideal. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, let's recap round five. It's decades round. So question 21 in the 1980s. Which television station launched in 1981 was marked by uh, Video Killed the Radio Star? Question 22, 1990, which, pres uh, which president held the White House for the majority of the 90s? Question 23 was the noughties. In 2004, which celebrity married Jason Alexander and Kevin Federline? Uh, question 24 was the 2010s. How many medals, including all bronze, silver and gold, did Britain win in the 2012 Olympics? Was it A, 65? B, 67, or C, 69. Question 25 was 2020. Uh, 2020 is the year of which animal of the Chinese zodiac? And that's it for question, uh, that's it for round five. The decades round. Grace says the answer is 2025 is the year of the bat. Certainly feels like it, doesn't it? Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on that. It says caption. I've read it, haven't I? No, it's not. Mitchell. From who? Mitchell. I've read it, haven't I? Yeah. 
certainly is. Well, I can tell you that 2020 is the year dictated by the bat. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, you know, for those of you that are new to uh, Caps Quiz, round six is a very goofy round indeed. We have had so many different rounds before, but we have returned to a previous round, which is producer series, badly drawn movies. So, producer Sarah, for each question, has depicted a film in a badly drawn doodle and you need to tell me what film she is trying to depict in her photo um very popular around this was back by popular demand I enjoy it. all right guys so round six badly drawn movies round question 26 what film has producer sarah drawn badly here You love doing this round, don't you, Fuse Sarah? I do. Yeah. <laughs> the year of the pangolin. That would eat the eat pangolin or bat. Pangolin, wasn't it? Uh, who who wants to eat pangolin? Legitimately, who thinks? Oh, I like, do. You want, what would you like for dinner tonight, darling? Oh, I'd love some. Pangolin and chips. Oh, I don't know what accent that was. So I go, I'll go northern because I'm really late. Um, you can't do it now. Uh, no, I can't. I'm not, I'm not a jukebox. Uh, yeah, right, well, what do you want for dinner? Oh, oh, I love some pangolin and chips, please. Oh, medium rare. And if you could do some bat wings deep fried, that'd be lovely. Eh? Hey? What a world we live in. What a world we live in. Gone off on a right tangent there, apologies. Hashtag go vegan. Nah. Question 27, what film has producer Sarah badly drawn here? Nailed it, says Claire, thanks Claire. Is that my, are you talking about my accent or producer Sarah's drawing? I, can, I can't do any of their, I, under, under pressure, I can't do any of their accents. You can do them not under pressure though, you're doing them to me all the time. Well, give, me, give me an accent and I'll, and I'll try it for everyone. Bruce is Scottish. Oh, I'm Scottish. Bruce is what, Bruce you is do, Scottish. Do South African. Oh, South African. <laughs> oh, how's it man? Yeah, how's it going man? Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very lekker, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to Tesco, man. To get a meal deal. Kevin says Jamaican. Jamaican? No, I'm not saying Jamaican. That's a, that's, a, that's a hair too far, I'm afraid. All right, guys, question 28. What film has produced Sarah badly drawn here? Go give me another one. Give me an accent to do. Are you trying to pick one you know I can do well? Yeah. No, just, just say anyone. Spanish. Oh, I love these Spanish. <laughs> 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 French. No, because it's, it's xenophobic, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Give me one I'd like. Uh, give me one you think I'd enjoy doing. Geordie. Geordie? <laughs> I've ordered a Chinese one. There's neat prawn cracker. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be stuck. Sorry, guys. Question 29. What film has produced Sarah badly drawn here? I like these drawings. This one's bad. <laughs> That's what, it's the badly drawn movies. They're meant to be drawn badly. Morgan family, remember you're playing higher or lower with me after this round. For that final quiz point. So sorry to David. You were so close in the pe- in the uh, previous round. Quarantine eternity, you were so close. Dom Coombs, I've, def- I've seen your caption, I'll read it out. I've got it ready. 
Guys, question 30. What film has producer Sarah badly drawn here? What film is it, guys? I love hearing the music you guys hear in my earpiece. Very chilled. I just want to go to sleep. Ryan, I've come on just to see this round. Did you just message him? Look burning. All right, guys, let's recap. Round six, the badly drawn movies round. Question 26. What film had producer Sarah badly drawn here? Question 27. What film had producer Sarah Badly drawn here? Question 28. What film had producer Sarah Badly drawn here? Question 29. What film had producer Sarah Badly drawn here? And question 30. What film had producer Sarah Badly drawn here? All right, guys, that's the end of all the questions. Uh, we are way ahead of schedule this week, I think, because uh, we haven't had as many shout outs as we usually do. So I will leave. Um, shall I put round two up for you guys? The recap for round two up briefly. Uh, but we do have higher or lower to go. So, Morgan family, we are in our third break now after round six. Uh, I assume Holly's going to get in contact regarding the higher or lower. So, get in contact with me and let's get ready for some higher or lower, guys. Uh, in the meantime, guys, uh, we are about to go through the answers to the questions after this short break, which should be about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna post a link uh, at the end. Uh, I'm gonna post a link to the, I'm gonna post a link to, sorry. I'm gonna post a link to a survey that you are gonna put your team name and the mark you got out of 30 at the end when we have marked all the answers. But please, you have 15 minutes to submit your answers to the survey via the link that I sent to you at the start of the uh, quiz. I'm going to post it one more time in case you forgot to use it. So on this survey, you need to make sure you put in your team name and the answers to the questions for the past 30 questions I have read out. Those answers need to be submitted by in the next 10 minutes, please, Syria. Next 10 minutes, you need to submit your answers via the link you clicked at the start of the quiz. Then we will go on to do the answers. But in the meantime, it's time for some. In the meantime, it is time for some higher or. Shout out to Carol and Gary Leg. All right, let's do it. Holly is ready to go. All right, Holly, let's get going. Higher or lower time. Okay, Morgan family, your first card is Ace. Ace is alone. That's one. Ace is alone. 
Tak jde o na stemo. What do you want? Higher. Oh, oh, it's a six. Oh, that's a risky one. I need to drop that one. It's a risky one. Higher or lower? On a six. You tell me what you want. What do you want, Morgan family? Higher or lower on that six? Ho, ho, ho. But would you go to higher? Done higher, just sir. Higher. Oh, it's a nine. Ooh, boy. What do you want? Higher or lower? You tell me. It's getting tense. It's getting tense. Oh, it's a risk. It's a game of chance. I roll lower. What do you want? Ooh, lower. It's lower. Oh, out to six. Oh boy. High roll lower. Ah, oh, what a great way to end. High roll lower. What do you want? Come on, Morgan family. What do you want? High roll lower. High roll lower. Could go either way. Could go either way. What do you want? Oh boy. It's higher. Are we ready? Final card. Oh no! The final hurdle. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh dear. Well, higher or lower? Only provided one point out of possible three. Sorry to the Morgan family. Congratulations to the Curry Smugglers for getting one of those all important points. Well, what a nail biter that was. I am stuck to my seat like industrial strength adhesive. Well, I get those answers in guys. You got about, how long they got for you, sir? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes to get your answers in. Make sure you submitted that survey. Get them in guys, get those quiz rounds in. Why don't you guys have been so quiet on social media this week. People just want to quiz, don't they? Just want to relax and quiz. Remember guys, you can still got time to submit your captions and your oh caption from Quarantine Turner. Well When she invites you to smash, but asks you to bring your own N64 controller. <laughs> oh, I feel so that's already like that. Yeah, that's one for you. Yeah, it is one for me. Quarantina Turner, you've definitely put yourself in the running for that mark, because I do like that one. Your boy can relate to that one. N64, love it. Caption from Mark. I'm struggling to hold in my turtle head. That's lewd. Don't like it, Mark. It's very lewd. Stop it now. <laughs> Should have gone to spec savers, says Mitch Leg. Shout out, Mitch. Love you, man. Right guys, not got long to submit your answers. Get them in. Get them done. Q 
caption from Carol and Gary Leg. I'm going to ditch my specs and become a virtual quiz host. Hey now, hey now, Carol and Gary. No, oh, he's not a bad looking chap. Actually, give me one sec. You sir, can you pass me that? I'm wired in here. You know what to pass me, don't you? I've even got the shine. That was just for you guys. I actually do need these to look at the computer screen. This is why people don't wear actual lenses in TV shows because you can see the light. You need wider eyes. You are? You need wider eyes. You need wider eyes. I thought I had my eyes out, did it? You see how that plays back? He's got browns, I've got beautiful blues. Anyway, I'll keep those on actually. That's actually helped me read the screen a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> we should wear these so much more. Oh dear. Just make him look more intellectual as well. Thanks Claire, higher or lower is brilliant. Maybe you'll get a chance. It's random, guys. Producer Sarah picks teams at random. All right, guys. How, how long is it time? Right, one minute. thirty. One more minute. One more minute to submit your answers, guys. Captions, right, captions. I know what my favourite is. Caption from Mama Stevenson: "I'll do anything for Trump, but I won't do that." You guys, filthy. Well, no one submitted, uh, there's only been two submissions for the photo recreation round this week. I've drunk bleach and stayed alert, now I've got to grin and bear it. Very good caption from Nick Jones there. What's that? Did you say stay alert? Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. Control the virus, go to work. Sit in the sun, stay alert. We have a route and we have a plan. Work from home if you can. What's next? Right, that's it. If you've not, you've not got your quiz answers in now, you're done. You're done, so. That's how it is. I like people being prompt and on time with their turnings. Is it like uni? Oh, could you say it's closed it already? 21 teams have submitted their answers. All right, guys. It's time to go to work. Right, so... Before I go through the answers, let's give out the extra quiz points for the uh, possible rounds you could have got. So remember the uh, Curry Smugglers, you guys get an extra point as the only team that managed to get the higher or lower guesses right. So you guys, when you submit your uh, score at the end, to make sure you add an extra point to your team. The best caption, in my opinion, goes to Quarantina Turner with... Where was it? When she invites you to smash, but, you, but asks you to bring your own N64 controller. Love that, Quarantina Turner. You guys get a point. So when you submit your uh, mark at the end, make sure you add a point for that. And finally, the photo recreation point goes to, of course, this is what you're trying to recreate. This is what won the point. 
Zach Field with this beautiful submission. Zach and Devin, your team will get an extra point for their marks. So, there we go. Zach Field for photo recreation, Quarantina Turner for captured, and the Curry Smugglers for the only round of higher or lower run. Remember, higher or lower will return next week. So remember, make sure you are in it to win it. But in the meantime, let's get those answers going for you guys. I need to take these off because the glare is of the light is shown. All right, gang. Let me just read some comments. Beautiful. Has Jack from Mountain Dew his whiskey on colour? No. Alright guys, let's get on with the answers. So Round one was general knowledge. Question one. In Winnie the Pooh, what are the elephant-like creatures called? The answer was Heffalump. If you put Heffalump for question one, you got that right. Question two, Lizard Point, the most southern point of mainland Britain, is in what county? It is Cornwall. Question three, uh, Riddle, what disappears as soon as you say its name? It is Silence. Question four, which Italian aperitif would you find in a Negroni? It is Campari. Question five, the Russian language uses what type of alphabet slash writing system? It is Cyrillic. That was the answers to round one. Round two. Question six, this was the missed, uh, missing out round. So I gave you these popular, Briti uh, popular phrases and I'm taking the vowels out of them. So question, so these are the answers to round two. So question six was beat around the bush. Question seven was a stitch in time saves nine. Question eight was beating a dead horse. Question nine was ignorant is bliss. And question 10 was bite the bullet. So if you got those right, well done. Doug Star should be flogging a dead horse. Well, uh, no, it shouldn't be flogging a dead horse because if you insert any vowels in whatever order there, you wouldn't get flogging a dead horse. This is what it is. Sorry. Different strokes and all that. That could have been a different one in itself. Round three was the entertainment round. What, question 11, what is the name of Super Mario's pet dinosaur? It is Yoshi. The answer to question 11 is Yoshi. Question 12. Which popular TV show was originally called Insomnia Cafe? It is Friends. The working title of Friends was Insomnia Cafe. Question 13. In what game do you pay debt to Tom Nook? It is Animal Crossing. A lot of you out there got that. Should, you, should we give him flogging a dead horse? It doesn't fit yeah, it doesn't fit. All right, please. Sarah's made a ruling. It Only beating a dead horse. Yeah. <laughs> question fourteen: Who had I? A bushemi eyed here. Right. Who had I bushemi eyed here? It was. Andy Sandberg, member of the Lonely Island slash actor in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, among other uh, other different things. 
But Andy Sandberg was the answer to question 14. And question 15, what M. Night Shyamalan film stars Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel? It is The Happening. Absolutely awful film, in my opinion. Round four was Caps Round. Question 16, what captain is synonymous with rum? It was Captain Morgan. I will only accept Captain Morgan, although Captain Jack Sparrow does drink rum, he is not synonymous with rum, it is Captain Morgan, the mascot for rum for the Captain Morgan Company. Horse abuse is wrong, says Mike Coleman. Okay guys, question 17, in the British Army what rank is above captain? It is Major. Major is the rank above captain. Where is the British Army and not the British Navy? Question 18 for you comic book nerds out there. Brian Braddock is the real name of which Marvel captain? Never ever has he starred in a Marvel film, but Captain Britain, and there is a Captain Britain and his real name is Brian Braddock. Question 19, which famous fictional captain had his leg bitten off by a white whale? Well, if you've read Moby Dick, then you would know that the answer was Captain Ahab. Question 20, what type of hat is known as a bunnet in Scotland? And that's B-U-N-N-E-T. It is a flat cap, what I will accept Irish cap and a pinch, but it is a flat cap called a bunnet in Scotland. Round five was a decades round. So I gave you a question from each of the previous five decades, including this one. So question 21 was the 1980s. Which television station launched in 1981 was marked by Video Killed the Radio Star? In Excuse me, first thing, it was MTV. MTV is the answer to question 21. Question 22, 1990s, which president held the White House for the majority of the 90s? It was President Bill Clinton. Question 23, the 2000s, in 2004, which celebrity married Jason Alexander? And Kevin Federline, it was Britney Spears. Question 24, it was the 2010s. How many medals, including bronze, silver and gold, did Britain win in the 2012 Olympics? Was it A, 65, B, 67 or C, 69? <laughs> yeah, boy. It was A, 65. So 65A was the answer to question 24. Question 25 was the 2020s. Uh, 2020 is the year of which animal of the Chinese zodiac? It was not the bat, but the rat. The rat. 2020 is the year of the rat. Okay, round six was the badly drawn movies around. So producer Sarah had badly drawn some movies and you guys needed to tell me what film she had badly drawn. Question 26 was The Shining. It's a very iconic scene. That's the Here's Johnny scene with uh, Jack Nicholson. So question 26 was The Shining. Question 27 was The Wicker Man. Not the bees! Not the bees! Question 26 was The Wicker Man, the remake uh, with Nicolas Cage. Question 27. Sorry, question 28. What film uh, had Sarah badly drawn here? It was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, or Charlie and Chocolate Factory. What, what was the rename? 
Charlie and Chocolate Factory, who was the real name? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Willy Wonka, you can have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie. Uh, or what was it? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate, Wonka and Chocolate Factory and what did I say? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Either or. Uh, we are seeing this. Augustus, save some for later. Uh, question twenty nine. Uh, what film had produced Sarah drawn here? It was the Shawshank Redemption. You can see uh, someone tumbling through some. I asked producer Sarah to draw some fake poo. Right, and she just she ended up drawing. I don't know what she drew. Smelly rocks. <laughs> Smelly rocks. Uh, question 30, badly drawn rounds. Uh, what uh, badly drawn movie is this? It is, shout out to Ryan McBurney, The Emperor's New Groove. Kuthka. <laughs> Worst lava ever. <laughs> that's better than your previous level. Alright guys, that's it. That's the end. Oh, that's all the answers uh, to the questions of this quiz. Make sure you top up your answers and give yourself a mark out of 30. Remember that Quentin, uh, Qu Quarantina Turner got an extra point for captions. Zach Field and his team got an extra point for the photo recreation. And um, Curry Smugglers got an extra point for winning one of the higher or lower rounds. So I'm about to post a link to another survey that you need to tell us your team name and your team score. Producer Sarah is going to look and check um, which team has the highest score. Then she's going to check your answers on the survey you submitted um, to check that your answers corroborate and the winning team will win the quiz. So. On the survey link I've just posted on the live chat, put your team name and your mark out of 30, including your uh, extra quiz points to the Curry Smugglers, Quarantine Turner and Zach Field, and Teresa Sarah is going to check it out. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Well, shut up, Siri. Okay guys, while you do that, I'm going to play you the song from the start of the quiz while I go for a quick toilet break. But please listen to the dulcet tones of our very own Holly Morgan with the Cap Chord Quiz. Make sure, Cap Chord Quiz song, please make sure you submit your team name and your answers. Let's go. Where is it? Stuck at home in quarantine There's only one guy who you want on the screen He's got charming jokes to entertain you An old-fashioned on hand producer Sarah to It's Jack And he's back With Cap's Quiz there's lots of points to be had, there'll be no doubt If you've got good banter, then you'll get a shout out Can you caption this? Who's been beshemmy eyed Will we reach the Hall of Fame and take top prize? It's Jack! And he's back With Cap's Quiz So it's out on power, charge up your glasses It's only a matter of time before Jack is plastered He'll be on the stream every Saturday at 8 So round up the team and don't be late It's Jack And he's back With Cap's Quiz Okay, people that are saying that The Great Escape may be an answer to question, which one was it, Sarah? Brilliant. How many people tunnel out of the prison in The Great Escape? You guys tell me, yeah? Listen, this is a sore subject. 
people questioning the authority of the Quizmaster. We've had this two weeks ago, guys. This is all I'm saying. Hey? You guys tell me how many people tunnel out in the Great Escape? Eh? Thank you, Dougstar. Oh, he's not agreeing with me, I don't think. Mm. Eh? Oh, it's all quiet on the chat all of a sudden. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Holly, for um, sending that in. Uh, so in Sashkabala, about 100 plus people tunneled out during the Great Escape. Thank you, Bruce. No, no, why am I? I I'm sinking in. I'm being drawn in for you, Sarah. Uh, th this cannot be Shawshank Redemption, mate. Lol, he didn't tunnel underground. Has to be Great Escape. Well, you tell me, what's going on here? What are those little shiny things there? Well, Bruce and Sarah, they're probably drawing me into this now. Hey? Okay. I've been drawn in. Anyway, th so thank you to Holly Morgan for the for the video and the and the song. I really loved it. Do you know what I'd, do? I'd love? I'd love a remix of Holly's video. That'd be great. Take it. Like it's like an Adele song. Take it and remix it. But let me just remind you guys what a remix is. Control the virus. Go to work. Sit in the sun. Stay alert. Control the virus. Go to work. Sit in the sun. Stay alert. Control the virus. Go to work. Sit in the sun. Stay alert. We have a route and we have a plan. Work from home if you can. A lot of uh, a lot of conversation regarding the uh, Great Escape question. Thank you, Mike Coleman and Emily Leg. Completely right. It's obviously Shawshank. Yes, he tunneled out through a wall in Cabell, but what he did do when he got out of the wall is he went into a poo pipe. Have you seen the film? You gotta be careful. You see, he's sending these criticisms straight away and you gotta think through. That wall doesn't go out to the to freedom, it goes into a room with pipes, then he goes into a pipe and that's freedom. You are? Emperor's groom. Everyone's groom. Emperor's groom. Emperor's groom. Who <laughs> spelled that? Quizmaster knows his poo pipes. Some beautifully drawn turds. My common, he literally crawls through a sewer. Takes a big rock and hits the pipe. I'm so glad everyone came to it because I tell you what, these messages I've been getting were very sassy, very sassy indeed, and I don't appreciate it. I'm gonna start charging for this quiz. Um, we've got a four-way tie. You got a four-way tie. Oh, oh, oh boy! Let's get a tiebreaker. Let's get a tiebreaker ready to go. Right and down for me just so we get that tiebreaker question. Righty ho. We have a four way tie. That means that the following four teams that I'm about to read out need to send me their answer to the tiebreaker question on social media. So when I read out your team name, get ready, you're going to send me a message on social media with your team name and your answer to the tiebreaker. Oh, 
Oh, no way. So, a four-way tie between the Pomdettarinis. All I can smell is rubber. Quentin, Quarantina, and Qu Quarantina Turner. Right, guys, if you are a member of the Pomdettarinis, Bruce and Mike, you're going to have to get in contact with me via uh, Twitter. All I can smell is rubber. I think that's Mike and Emily. Uh, Quarantina Turner and uh, Quentin Quarantino. Is that the other one? Did you say? Quentin Quarantino. Quentin Quarantino. Right, I'm going to read you a tiebreaker question. You need on social media to send me the name of your team and your answer to the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker question is including the antenna on the top. How many meters tall is the Eiffel Tower? So, including the antenna on the top, how many meters tall is the Eiffel Tower? Those teams, Pomdettarinis, All I Can Smell Is Rubber, Quentin Quarantino and Quarantina Turner, you need to send me a message on social media, whatever you prefer, your team name and your answer. In meters, I just said that. How many meters tall is the Eiffel Tower? We thought they were fancy candles, says Doug Star One. Have I taken it down? Oh, Quarantino. Quarant Quentin Quarantino is the original Quentin Quarantino who won in the first week, have submitted their answer. Thanks, guys. Caught that. See the rest of them. From the Torinis. Thank you, Bruce. Just waiting for two more. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Quarantina Turner. Just waiting for uh, all I can smell is rubber. I know who I'm looking for for that. All I can smell is rubber. What's your answer? We still have got and all I can smell is rubber. I need you to send that answer through ASAP or else you forfeit your answer. I'm not seeing anything through on your usual streams. I'll give you 30 seconds. All I can smell is rubber. You guys need to send me your uh, tiebreaker. So close, guys, it's a nail biter. Three hundred and five. Oh boy. Well, the so the answers given were how tall in meters is the Eiffel Tower? The Pom de Torini said two hundred and eighty. All I can smell is rubber. Said three hundred and five meters. Quentin Quarantino said 300 meters and Quarantino Turner said 161 meters. I can tell you that the height of the Eiffel Tower in meters, including antennas, is 324 meters, meaning that for the second week in a row, all I can smell uh, is rubber has won the quiz. Congratulations to you guys, 
and taking a double win, just like the Kabbalah Bears did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, we are here every Saturday until the end of the quarantine at 8 o'clock. Tell your friends, tell your family, share our social media profiles to so anyone you want. I hope you've enjoyed it. High or low, we'll be back this week, uh, next week along with uh, photo recreation and photo caption. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Love you all. Blessings. Peace, Siri, are you going to come and get in? Come on, come on we now. Don't understand. Siri, Siri's asking for it. No, Siri's just talking. Juice, Sarah, and I. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. See you next week. I love you. Bye.